Hello, Jay for children. So, as in the previous video, we have learnt two of our input devices. One is keyboard, right? And another one is mouse. So, continue part of this. We are learning about microphone today. So, what is microphone? Mic, yes. Through which we speak and it is heard in speaker with louder voice, isn't it? So, microphones convert sound into electric signals that a computer can understand and store. They are used to record sound as a media file or transmit the same when having a conversation through the internet. So, this microphone is, they are talking about, mobile will be having one microphone, right? Irtailwa. Yes, it should be. Otherwise, if you speak in your phone, how, uh, to whom you have called, he will listen and he will understand. For example, sitting in the school, if you are called to your daddy and you are asking him to come to school and pick you up, he need to hear what all you talk with your mobile phone, right? Huh, then there will be microphone through which your voice will be captured and sent to his mobile. Okay? So, microphone is device convert sound into electric signals. Current illa andre speaker a mic a work a kavan. Generator a bekil kadi khach bekandra. So, sound is converted into electrical signals through microphone. Understanding? Microphone converts yes, sound signals into electrical signals that a computer can understand and store. See, in Ganpati and all that speakers, what you call, no? Uh, they are not having any connection with computer. Speaker will be there, uh, one box will be there into which pen drive you will put and you will put the song or you will on the mic and you start to speak. But this mic, what they have shown, no? This is professional mic. If you want to store any kind of data in official form, then you can speak through this. Audio, audio message, audio data, you can speak through this and that will be stored in your computer. Like call recording, voice recording, what you do. Isn't it? Our mother is the new mobile or speaker on Madi to recording Akidra, they record Agatalva, and it will be stored in your uh, mobile phone. Similarly, in computer, if someone is speaking and if you record it through microphone, then it will be stored in your computer. Simple. How to use it now? So, make sure the microphone is properly connected to your PC. Laptop has input, inbuilt. Inbuilt microphone. If you are using PC, what is PC? Personal computer. CPU, keyboard, mouse, monitor. This all together we form a computer, right? So that is PC. So microphone is properly connected to your PC. If you have PC, then microphone must be connected to PC. But if you have laptop, no problem. Laptop is CPU. Extra CPU, extra keyboard, extra mouse. So, in laptop, there is no need of microphone. So, open any program capable of recording sound for you. Start recording and speak into the microphone. After sufficient input, stop the recording and save the audio file into the computer. So, for saving, you need to speak into microphone. What is your topic? If you are, you are said to talk about your mother, you need to speak for 2 to 3 minutes and you need to save that file. Then it will be stored in your computer. Okay? Use a media player to play back the audio file in order to listen to the recorded sound. Record my dopus care the media player and application in the now care bahudu. Modify the sound properties as per your requirement. Sound properties means pitch, frequency, or the voice. That all you can change. 
in sound property that options will be there so you got about microphone for what microphone is used microphone is used to store the voice recording data into computer okay next it is scanner you know about scanner right what is scanner like in mobile phone if you take phone and you click selfie it will be saved in soft copy file a photo will be there of you same way if you take one paper and put in this scanner and close it and tell it to scan it will give a soft copy of that scanner in front of your eyes in computer right okay so scanner comes in lots of different shapes and sizes but they all work in more or less the same way what is the work of scanner like a photocopy a machine photocopier machine now we in other input cut it all a paper at the same photocopy nam pc all a concept so scanner comes in different shapes different colors different sizes okay but unlike a copier that scans your document and immediately prints a duplicate on another paper scanner take a picture of your document and then send that information to your computer where it can be saved as a file a scanner works by digitizing an image so got it right what is scanner scanner is used for digitizing the image what is printer ha huh. if you take one copy and if you put into printer another same copy comes out on different paper a copy wrong irtaithe matton thare bartidil xerox xerox machine that is printer scanner scan a copy irtaithi but hosa copy athava kodangilla just computer olu save agutha same image you can see in computer that is scanner okay so scanner and this printer are voice versa this is printer we'll come to it later so you understood about scanner i hope so what is the work of scanner exactly okay it converts one file hard copy into digitizing image it scans the image and converts into digitizing image okay so how to use it connect the scanner to your computer and turn it on open the top lid and inside the scanner place the document you want to scan close the lid press the scan button or make sure of the related software on your computer to provide the same instruction uh, the preview of the scanned image will appear in the scanning software window select any portion of the scanned image and make required changes for properties such as resolution and color save the scanned image to the desired location and close the program you can also select the file format of scanned image such as .gif or .jpeg you know in which format your uh, pictures or images will be saved yes gif or jpg or jpeg these are all the files in which images will be saved clear so how a scanner works scanner must be connected to computer first thing next uh, when we place the document that we want to scan the uh, lid of that scanner must be closed so here it is there this is the base and this is lid when you when we place one paper here this lid must be closed then we need to press scan yaha pe i mean uh, there will be many buttons here to scan on off turn on turn off scanning how many copies we need to scan so that option we need to choose and we need to scan it and that image will appear on the computer screen based on the clarity of that image we can set it in a jasti clear beku andre clear kuda maarkobodu black and white beku andre resolution change maadi black and white anta kuda maarkobodu so this is about scanner in the next class in the next video i will tell you about output devices output devices is really really very interesting you know why 
we will be having monitor into it printer into it speakers into it right so speaker it is voice versus of microphone illi en maatadtivalla adil ban kelaste <laughs> okay so we will learn about it and one more thing projector in classrooms you are having projector right so i will explain you about this projector also how it works how you can start it how you can utilize it that also i will explain in the next class okay so please learn about these input devices keyboard mouse microphone scanner okay just go through the things if you don't understand anything i will be there in the school you can come and ask any time clear okay thank you so much have a great day